So what is going on, Les? What is going on? Guy, uh, what is this fool doing? Tell me about that. Come on. So K- Kendall Jenner, Jenner right? Yeah. It's Kendall. Kendall. Oh, Kylie. Oh, oh no, Kylie. No, it's Kylie. Okay. Kylie. It's Kylie. Okay. Sorry. All right. See, I don't it's even know. It's actually Kylie and Kendall. Kylie. It's Kylie and Kendall. It's Kylie and Kendall. Yeah, it's, it's both, both of them. They, they did it together. So they're yeah. they're selling these t-shirts. Okay. They're making mad money off of them. They were. They were. <laughs> of using like old old rappers and, and bands like the, like the Doors. Yeah. So they have like the Doors logo and then an image of their face like on, <laughs> on top of that logo. And like Prince. And Prince and Tupac. Tupac Biggie. And Biggie. And who uh, else? Osborne, uh, Ozzy Osborne, Ozzy Osborne. Okay, what and all and all these, <laughs> whoever are holding the rights to, you know, like right. Tupac or Biggie's mom sued them yeah. to, to stop. Yeah. They Painfully. got a yeah, and then they got a a letter of uh, what's it called? Uh, cease and desist. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. They got one from the Doors. Yeah, whoever still remains in the band. And yeah, hey man, man so, it just, I just want to read you this tweet, man. It, it just came from uh, uh, Sharon Osbourne. She was like, "Girls, you haven't earned the right to put your you haven't earned the right to put your face with music icons on T-shirts. Stick to what you know." Lip gloss. That She's is trying not to tell disrespectful you. at all. That's not at all. No. These, they they are actually. That's how do you family. how do you figure that you have the right to go out and take dead artists, icons, people that have just have have just laid it down and laid the foundation for something that you got because of the fact that you your dad did this and this happened and it fell in your lap and you had an opportunity because you had money. You know what I mean? I don't understand how they have the how they figured out they they can just go out and do that and feel feel comfortable with putting it out there and making money off of it but not giving any of that back. I mean it wasn't That's a how charity event or anything no, like that. that. It was just yeah. like if they, they just, if they did, they, they haven't announced it yet. But I bet you they will now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that you now that you put the idea out there, yeah, right. <laughs> now that it's going right. to do it, you know. Oh, that's maybe a good maybe it was a, a a fundraiser that they were doing for Calabasas yeah. because they needed a, <laughs> uh, <laughs> some sort of uh, street they need, park. Uh, for the kids. Their, their swim yeah. team needed some new Come uniforms. On, because, <laughs> they needed to fix the double gates up. Because I, I just can't believe on. you can jack a person's face and put it on a fucking t shirt and then sell it like Bruh. you uh, made their face or something. Okay. Jacked it. Wow. Literally. Now wow. that that is a good. This is tied to our previous conversation, and yeah. maybe I'm just being completely biased here. Um, that's a great example of that exam of that mm. responsibility being solely on the artist yes. who put that out there, knowing that young impressionable people are going to purchase that. So yeah. I understand fully where you're coming from. You now. gotta look at it. It's the new the new generation. Okay. The new generation. how many of them cats actually knew the Osborne's? How many of them really knew? The new the new generation. Ask them to name one song. One. From Ozzy. Okay. How did they find out about Tupac? How did they find out about Biggie? How did they find out about different things? They didn't really find out maybe from their parents or something like that. So if somebody comes out like a Kylie or Kendall Jenner and says, hey this is cool. Check this out. This is cool. The kids is like, yes, moms, give me this. And that purchase, purchase, purchase. They done made three, four, five, six million, and they great. But they haven't given any of that back, nor did they give homage to, homage to where it came from. Right. And respecting the fact that, you know what, let me uh, actually ask you, is, is this okay? Right. You, you know what? Uh, you can you can flip this, and it, and this is just like thinking uh, future. How you can like flip something like that to make it an educational thing. Say, for instance, you know, different scenario that they took the Osborne uh, family or something like that, or Ozzy Osborne, put it on a T-shirt, and the tag was a little blurb about him. Okay, and what he was to to rock and roll. That would have been awesome. And then the proceeds can go like 80, 20 or something like that because they are are taking vintage and they're taking education and putting it on a T-shirt. Right. 
Right. That would have been cool. That's like a face that's like that, that, that art thing that you were talking about, that that respect of the artist. And, you know, it's it's taking a sample or something like that, like an Otis Redding sample, and then putting that, bringing it out. Like, yo, he was the god of blues or something like that. Mm-hmm. And and this made that song. You you are hearing right. this. You are hearing this idea here first. We trademarking. I'm yeah, just letting y'all know sure. what's going on. <laughs> or, or yeah, that's then, right. or even something like that's real talk. The, all the money we make off these T-shirts will go back to schools that will start music programs. Something. Yeah, yeah. Like, See, we we're turning mm. bullshit into some sugary things. You right. know what I mean? <laughs> Not to pay no bills in your Hidden Hill house. Hello, yeah. kid, uh, Kylie. I know. Yeah, man. Never, when I heard that, I just I was like, man, that pisses me off, man. I was just like, what are they doing? They're just because they think it's cool. And yeah. and their million followers. They tell them it's cool, then it's okay. Oh, it's a good business. It's good business. Well, we gonna make this yeah. money, money. No. That's 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 straight. Why they why are they not in court? Why are they not going to jail? Why don't they well, just why, they not, what, why they not what catching Kendall cases? or Kylie's that's, boyfriend you're has stealing. to say about that? Why don't they just sell t shirts with just their face on them? He's a hip hop artist. I What's wonder what Kylie's that? boyfriend has to say about that. <laughs> Well, I wonder what they didn't do so she well. Did, that's why. She's w- huh? No, she's with Travis. Oh, she's with Travis. Oh. I wonder like, what Kanye West had to say about this. Does does you think Kanye knows about this? I'm sure he oh, knows about oh, yeah. it. Sure he, he, knows. Yeah. he knew right you away. You think Kanye told him to do it because he he sampled a lot of shit. He was just he's like, a, he's kind of sample <laughs> He's kind like of like offensive. So yeah. I mean, I he's pretty he, open minded. Come on, bro. You don't think he knew about that? Come on, that's millions of t-shirts. Yeah. That's millions of t-shirts. That's not like one or two. He probably had on one. It, I wouldn't doubt it. He might want to win in his concerts. Lester, is that one of the t-shirts, man? <laughs> <laughs> actually, it says Egyptian this, lover, Egyptian baby. This lover. is actually from, from Egyptian lover himself. Oh, yeah. okay. oh, so, I like that. I, I like saw, that. I'm like, you, I see Egypt. the face. I'm like, man, are you wearing a Kylie Jenner t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, if you look at the Egyptian, it's my face on there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real talk, man. What and if just engineers as, just started as a doing that? <laughs> as a, as a real talk, just on that subject, this is is it's beyond it's beyond unthinkable. So what do you this think, man? I mean, because because as 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 leaders of 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 the new school culture, I, I look at everyone that that's in this room as leaders as a, a, a of the new school culture. Like, how do you fix something like that? What do you tell kids? to 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 do and how how they can give back to programs or just pay homage to what came before them when they want to do something like this and throw people on t-shirts and shit like what how do you fix that like what would you tell a kid research like you're saying like if if a kid says hey this is i think this would be a cool idea yeah um maybe i'm not a great leader because i would just say no (laughs) That's not a cool idea. Well, I, Don't I think do it. I think what we're doing <laughs> I, right here now is the cool part that yeah. we're saying no. You, like that is not cool. And if you know if it gets the word gets around, yeah, I would just shut it wait, down wait. and say it's disrespectful. But the, think, the, think the kids idea, the idea, is a dope idea. Yeah. The idea of it. Oh, let's let's get together and let's put some some icons on shirts and give it you know uh, with us and do some you know different things then if you go out and do as journey was saying and say hey let's give back let's yeah. put that tag on there that gives and shows you so you can learn something so you can yeah. grow well then this idea actually becomes something that now can change lives and i yeah. told you journey knows that's what i'm about i want to change yeah, life absolutely now, I, i'm changing things because i'm giving you not only i'm giving you something that's amazing for you to look look good in but i'm giving you some 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 culture right and i'm giving you a message and i'm saying hey check this out check this out this is from back in the day what you missed but this is what laid the foundation for everything that's going on now. yeah and if anything that it should be about the culture it should be yeah definitely yeah. I think that's what that's what's missing in uh, in technology and uh, is culture. There's no culture to technology. It's just platform, right. platform, platform, and then you got people uploading what they think is good into Facebook and to Twitter and 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 Instagram and stuff like that. I mean, there's some good things out there, but I think that there needs to be more cultural movements that happen within technology to really, really make it more of that than more. 
uh, media takeout type shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Media like, takeout. Yeah. We, we need more culture within technology and that that's what needs to happen. And I think once kids start to subscribe to those different platforms, it'll be, they'll see more of that because everybody wanted to be a part of something, you right. know, it's like as kids, everybody wanted to be a part of something that was cool. But I think, you know, the shit that's not cool is taking more space than the things that, you know, need to be yeah. cool and what need to matter. And I think that all goes back to the artists. What are you doing? How are you making your story fucking cool to say, oh man, I'm gonna tell my story and then so on and so forth. Yeah. Kids are gonna do, they're gonna do crazy shit like that yeah. and not give it back. And then get tapped on the ass and be like, oh, I shouldn't have done this. Right. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately or fortunately, I think what it takes to the catalyst to, to do that, to what you're saying is yeah. it looks like as of lately is national tragedies <laughs> or international tra tra tragedies. Uh. Those seem to inspire that type of movement and people taking ownership over their culture. Maybe when they feel like they're about to lose their culture due to yeah. genocide. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like well, a survival technique. I don't know. So. What if, what if I leave you guys with this and then we're going to wrap up. What if hip hop said, fuck y'all and left us? What would we do if we couldn't do hip hop? I know it's a crazy ass question. It's just like if hip hop just walked away. I can't even away. fathom. You, I can't even fathom. walked away from now? Yeah. It's just like, y'all, y'all mistreating me. I'm out of here. I can't imagine. I feel like there's always the going to be one. I, I can't even fathom that. Do yeah. you know and how then you much would go influence? and try to do hip hop and it was like, ah, you crippled because hip hop gone. The they, they influence that hip hop has, the world would cease to move. That's how much power we have, people. Trip Digital Radio Sound on Expression. We're out on that note. Peace. What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you for watching Trip Digital Sound Art Expression. Make sure that you like and subscribe this video. We're waiting for you.